Hey guys, here we are live at uh, on my back porch in, in the sunny state of Florida. And what I wanted to go through today is uh, I'm going to present some indexed annuities that I have presented this week, uh, along with Index Universal Life that I've presented this week. And we'll go over and, and show you how I uh, illustrated them, got them in front of the client, and then also went above and beyond and sold the deal. So. Uh, it, it all really comes down to these illustrations. You get this this into the client's hands, and you will uh, you, you 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 advance your chances of selling. Let's just put it that way. Without this stuff, you're just drawing on paper and you're just talking. You know the client's ear off. So you need to get the illustrations in front of them. So remember that that it's a it's a big bonus to have illustrations. And what I'm going to explain to you is these illustrations. I'm going to take them one by one for now and separate them. So I'm going to go through the, uh, the IUL illustrations first, and then we'll walk through the, the other ones. Uh, this one's for $150,000 and $300 a month premium. So when I did the illustration, when I'm walking these people through to get to this point, to the $300 illustration, I want to know what their need is. And, and their need was she wanted to cover the house. She's 41 years old. She makes 7,500 bucks a, uh, a month. In three years, she's built a, a, an excellent uh, business for a landscaping business around my neighborhood. And she's making some money, and that will continue to grow. It looks like her business is about to take off. So she has a $7,500 a month income, which we're aware of. And then at the end of the month, after all expenses, and what do you have left? They have $3,000 left over. After all, their bills are paid. So it's just her and her husband running the show, so they don't have any, you know, they don't have any payroll or what have you. So they have to put gas in machines and things like that and take care of the kids in the house and things like that. Believe it or not, between the two of them, a 36-year-old male and a 41-year-old female, they got eight kids already. And they have three grandchildren, which I, I don't know how that worked out, but that's how they told me it worked. Anyway. They got three thousand bucks a month. So when I do this, I'm, I ask them a question like this. I say, "Look, can you live on twenty seven hundred? Can you live on twenty eight hundred? All your bills are paid off, or can you live on twenty nine hundred bucks a month left over? And what are you doing with this three thousand that's left over? I'm putting it into the savings account. So they got a bunch of those stacked away for, in the savings. Not that much. It's about ten thousand bucks." But they got they take a lot of trips too. They they enjoy this extra three grand a month. So they got twenty seven hundred bucks is what they chose to leave behind. So that's how I got to the illustration of doing the three hundred dollar a month premium. And this this to get all this out on the table, I've done this week in and week out, how I get the, the finances on the, the plate uh, to serve them their dinner, which is their policy. Now inside this particular product, you have them placing in three hundred dollars a month which is $3,600 a year. So by, they wanted to retire at age uh, 65. So we have that down here. And you know, at uh, eight, let's say age 65, they have put somewhere in the ranges of 72, 80, 80 some thousand dollars. But now the cash value is worth 196,000 and, and the accumulated value is 196 and the cash is worth 162. The death benefit is $312,000. From day one, the death benefit is 152000 The cash value accumulates. The account value accumulates. So they can draw on this for the rest of their lives, just like an indexed annuity. So they'll be able to pull you know, uh, $15,000 a year out uh, until she's dead. So this is a very, very simple process. But I brought this illustration. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I printed this illustration at the home so when you get in the home if you don't have the illustration and you're doing it on your computer that's fantastic but i provide the tangible i want them to hold this i want to write on it i want to go through it with them i want them to know if we let this go you know well at, at age 111 it'd be worth three million dollars but if if we if we if we let that go and they continue to make payments till age 77 it'd be worth you know accumulated value three hundred sixty two thousand and averaging about eight percent is what it's illustrating at so you have to know how to illustrate these guys and if you want to really sell the big deals when you run into these individuals and we do a lot and you will too if you know how to illustrate them 
and you tell them what they have left over. You got to get to the bottom line of what they have left over each month to, to really get them to spend some money because they got to visually see what's left over every month. If they don't see what's left over, they're never going to pull the trigger on three to $500 a month premiums. Now this one here we did is $500 a month. You can see that up in here. So it's for $131,000. Here's the premium over here. That's $500 a month. This one's a little different. This one's a little more liberal. Comes with some living benefits. This is Mutual Home Omaha's GUL product. It does have a cash value that's earning a 3% interest. This one was designed for death benefit and, and some living benefits. But other than that, it wasn't created for the retirement schedule like this one was. So as you can see, if we put these two side by side, and I take a 20 year look on this, this one has $117,000 in cash. This one has $38,000. So the one that they're stuffing more money into at 500 bucks a month has less cash value by $75,000. I might have to pull this in if these damn landscapers are always here. So long story short, guys, is that there is more cash value built in this particular product, which is the FNG uh, product for their Index Universal Life product. Fantastic product to use. Compared to this $500 a month GUL from Mutual of Omaha. So this is at 300 and outperform the one that's at 500 all due to interest rates, okay? So what I want to show you next is two annuities that was done this week. So you have an illustration, 8.74. I get a measly, uh, what they doing? What are they putting in here? They only had $12,000. Now in their IRA, it's, it, it has been stagnant the whole time they've had it for the past 10 years. It hasn't gone anywhere. In fact, it's lost money and it continues to lose money due to the stockbroker taking his fees. So what you have to understand is if you can coordinate with them the value that you bring, which is taking away from the, the stockbroker, and, and nothing against stockbrokers at all, but if this is all the money that they have, and this guy continues to pull 3% out, and market volatility hits them, eventually they're going to run out of money. So what I decided to do was get them into an indexed, universal, an indexed, an indexed annuity, with a theme and give them a 13% bonus to start. So they actually were closer to what, $12,000. So they went to 13,000 and they're gonna leave it, they're gonna leave it alone for about 10 years, which turns it into 30 grand. Plus we sold them a $10,000 policy, which helps them provide themselves with $40,000 in coverage, along with the 20,000 that they already have. Now without the way I structured this for Mrs. Jones, she was moving out of the house. Now she, can, now she can stay in the home. She can afford to pay the back end of the home off, or she can afford to sell the home, or she can afford just to live in the home. But the bottom line is, is due to his income loss, she was out the door without doing this, without providing this. And they would have probably lost the IRA due to stockbroker uh, stock fees and, and, and his fees and downside market potentials. So this is what the illustration kind of looks like, guys. And this is a 13% bump on about $12,000. It's not a very large one, but it was doing the right thing for them, okay? Now this one here is 400, I think it's 400,000. I took a rep out this week and he actually seen me pull uh, five illustrations, maybe six illustrations of annuities, multiple sales due to Index Universal Life for mortgage protection and the GUL. What's up, Jose? Good morning, Lawrence. Hanky, what's up, brother? So long story short, what we have here is we're gonna use the illustration on the Index Universal Life and the indexed annuities to provide people with a way to uh, A, sell their house, B, buy time to, to, to provide them to, to be able to stay in the home until they wanna sell the house. But the, your key element is to buy them time until they decide to sell. So one of the things I say to Mrs. Jones, I say, Mrs. Jones, if Mr. Jones wasn't even here anymore, would you live in this home anymore? Would you stay here or would you move? Now, if both of you passed away, God forbid, if both of you passed away, there's equity built up. And I showed you guys how to prove equity multiple, many times before. So you should have that equation down. Uh, 
Dan, how's it going? Buddy? So what I want to show you is what I did with their, uh, must have been 300 some thousand dollars or so because the bonus gives us a 391. But in 10 years, you can see where they, if they were with this company for the past 10 years and they put their 391 in, that's with the 13% bonus, that they would today be at $176,000. So in the next 10 years, due to uh, provided proof from the carriers, which is their history, their history. That's the only way you can evaluate these things is through the history of what the company's done in the past. And index annuities have been rocking for what, 35 years now? Uh, why doesn't anybody use them? Because nobody knows about them. And it's your job to get the voice of this index annuity out. Tell people about these things. And let them be informed about this, this valuable information to provide them downside protection from market volatility, upside uh, potentials in the market, and, and, and without being in the market, most importantly. So the, all their money's protected. If we had a crash tomorrow, these people would stay at 391000 Now, check this out. If they let it go, they started 350 ish thousand or 360 something thousand, I assume. Um, I'm not able to do the numbers with the bonus, but if, if just hypothetically, if they just let this ride and they died when people are due to die in our era of time, which is age 95, not 85 anymore, that this 300 grand would have grown to $5 million. Right here. Five million dollars. So imagine what you can do with a couple bucks if you just put it away early, right? If Mama shot us out the womb and, and gave us thirty thousand dollars to work with. You'd be retired by now. So, what the main pur purpose of this is is to protect the last little bit of money that these people ever have. They are no longer being matched. They are no longer working to put provide money into the bucket, and all they're provided with is fees by stockbrokers and volatility to market potentials. They get some upsides. But what does that happen? Every five to six years is the real crazy upsides of 21% in the market. So what we have to provide them is protection from loss. And that's what the indexed annuities, along with a, a, an income for life, so they never outlive this product. So we can set these people up with an extra two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 a month when the significant other passes away and that particular income is gone. So if, if, if in a household that you have two individuals and you have one individual that is earning, you have Mr. Jones over here, Mr. Mrs. Most of the time he's making making more of the money. So let's say he's at three, let's say he's at 3,000 bucks a month just in social security, but he has this $300,000 401k and she has 750 bucks a month. Now, I know due to the fact that it's mortgage protection, but this is a $1,125 a month mortgage payment. So I already met, know that she's out on the streets. You know what I mean? Now, yes, she can get his social security, but that's a six to 12 month wait in this era of time. And in about 10 to 15 years, this will be 12 to 24 months when it's our turn to get it. You know what I'm saying? So the bottom line is, is that we're protecting the void in time from her not receiving this income, living on this, not being able to pay that, and protecting the money, the big P word, protecting the last bit of asset that they have, this, this investment, which is uh, being chewed up by these stock, bro stock brokers and the 3% interest earnings, along with the, the market volatility, which they do participate in. And they're crossing their fingers for the upsides. So why not participate in the upsides of the market and, 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 and not the downsides anymore and potentially earn more money over time and protect your money along with turning it into life insurance. So the benefit for people over here, look, if we take this money, we took, let's say we took 350 grand and we tacked it up to 391 because of the bonus. Now the death benefit becomes 388. So overnight, they jump from like 350 to 388, along with the very next year it going to 451 in this particular illustration, okay? So long story short is that this illustration provides us a, a substantial increase in accumulated value, okay? So very good and interesting information. This is why I tune in. Keep it up. Thank you, Jose. And Dan, I will read yours in a second. During your training, can I call you after this? I need help. I haven't been able to get a hold of you. Yes, Dan, you can call me. So 
Let's continue. Uh, long story short is that these illustrations are, are done to provide people uh, an idea of what the past was like. So the future looks bright. So right now they're bouncing around like this in the market. They're not feeding this funnel anymore. They're not getting matched. They have somebody subtracting money from it. They got a stockbroker taking from it, okay? And, 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 and hypothetically, I mean, sincerely speaking, I hope nobody has to lose 50%, but all market, market, market money is volatile. If these people don't understand what their, what their, uh, what their brokers really got them in, involved in. So, you know, if, if Mrs. Jones is at 300,000 bucks and, and there's a 30% loss, and she's at two, what, I don't even know what that comes to, but substantial loss, but the bottom line is, is now her monthly could have been $2,000 a month for the rest of her life, and now it's only 500 bucks for the rest of her life. So that's the other thing that this product does, is it provides an income for life that allows somebody not to have to live with this. How about the kids, too? I mean, a lot of people, if you mention the children when you're in the home, you're going to have another person to leave the money to. You're touching this area of them mentally touching them in, in the heart. And then when you do that, they, they, they provide uh, you with more in detailed information about what they really or truly want to do with their future and their money and after death. So the secret to my, my strategies are really to get in there and pull apart the, the, the future that they are going to enter into and get the numbers as close as I can to what they may run into or what they can run into. So the way I illustrate it is through some numbers that are provided from past results in the company that will allow people to understand that their future is a little brighter here when they're not losing any money and they don't have anybody taken from their pile of money, their pocket every year. I got a guy that has a million bucks, uh, a million dollars, you know, and, and I told him for the past 30 years that he's had this product, this guy has been pulling $200,000 to $300,000 on another case. But this is a whole nother case. This case is on 200 grand for the past 30 years. So what is that? Two, four, six. That's $600,000 that could have turned into $3 million over that period of time. So he lost $3 million giving up money because the past proved if he was with these companies for the past three year, 30 years, he would have outperformed the market due to volatility. So when we put these things side by side, you put a market-based product that starts here and the same amount over here, and you choose the right strategies, due to market volatility, it always outperforms. I've never seen anything be the same here in an index, in a variable situation, and this outperformed this in a 30 year period. So for 30 years, even 20, and sometimes 10. So, and, and if not 10, they usually look about even. But, but the difference is, is that you don't lose anything. You don't have to go to bed at night wondering, am I gonna lose money in the market? And that's your job to make sure that they're aware of that. All you do when you go into the home is you're informative. So if you become more informative about what you what what you uh, what you represent and what products that you offer, that's why I tell everybody become product knowledgeable. Get invested into the time to to understand your products head to toe. I mean, understand these products upside down to a to a point. Hell, I don't even know all the products inside now, but I'm, I may be a better talker than most, so I can get around that. But for those of you that can't be salesy, I want you to learn the products from head to toe, inside and out. And there's only several that you should be using, guys. I don't know why you're being manipulated by so many different IMOs and NMOs to use anything less than the products I'm using. I just, I can't figure it out nine times out of 10. So, you know, this inside the market, you use Mutual of Omaha, a lot of people use this. So when you're using this, you know, not a lot of you are using the GUL product. So this GUL, compared to the term, is about the same rates, but this one goes to death. This one keeps the residual income in longer. Yes, the term pays more out front, but this will keep it being paid longer too. This here, in the short, is, is a higher pay structure. This can get your residual. And long story short too is that Forrester's, without a doubt, has some of the best rates 
in the final expense market. I mean, it's just like incredible, plus the, the benefits that they offer. It's a great product to sell. Along with that Smart UL, it's insane. I mean, for about a year and a half, that's all I sold, Smart ULs. And before every home, I would bring the illustration with me to provide people the, the illustration of the cash value. I want people to know what they're investing into. People know when they drive a car off a lot that it loses money. When they buy a home, it usually increases in value. You want to show them what they're investing into is increasing in value and gives them living benefits, gives them cash value, gives them a death benefit. So there's three parties that win. Both the couples together, if it's living benefits or cash value, the death benefit to the individual loved one, and if the loved one passes away, the other individual can cash it in for the cash value. So you need to sell on, th on, on those three points. Now, but, yeah, it really, today I'm gonna just train on that, actually, that's just, that's just really, really good stuff there, you know? So there's one, two, three options. One, both of them get the money. So you train them on both. What is that? That's the living benefits and cash value, okay? Now there's also four, I'm sorry, the kids. You want to mention the kids and grandkids. Do not leave this out. This is, makes life real, okay? So the, the other individual, the death benefit, the individual who's the beneficiary of the $100,000 or so policy. And then you have the cash value for the owner of the policy. So there's three different structures you can sell one policy on. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, this policy is like two policies in one, basically, because both of you can reap the rewards of the living benefits and the cash value accumulation for retirement reasons. The second part is, is that Mrs. Jones is guaranteed to get this death benefit when, when you pass away. And we don't know if that's tomorrow, today, or 30 years from now. You, sir, the, the, the owner of the policy, gets the cash value. So if Mrs. Jones dies first, you're going to reap the rewards of having the cash value. And if both you go together, the kids get the money or the grandchildren receive this money to continue making the mortgage payments. Guys, if you're out there selling final expense and you're not mentioning that there's a mortgage payment on the home or there's rent due, you got to make, you want more premium, right? So listen, listen, I'm telling you how to do it. You get more premium by becoming a little more advanced in your sales and it's just a couple more words that you're not saying, okay? So if somebody has a mortgage, they have a mortgage payment and they have, a, you have a final expense lead, well, you're not just now selling funerals anymore. You're selling, you can now go into the fact that you can turn this final expense into mortgage protection. So this, what that does is that takes you from a $50 to $80 app to $100 to $300 app by covering the mortgage and the funeral, okay? So again, you want to cover all, one policy covers two people. And explain that when you're in the house. What am I doing with this? What What do you think I'm doing with this? What I'm doing that you're not doing, if you're not getting big numbers out of people, is I'm building value and I'm finding or I'm creating the need. Okay? I'm building value and I'm creating the need. And this word is very impressive because they have certain needs that when you come in, they filled that out for a certain reason. Okay, there's a need, there's a void there of some sort, and they want information. You're an information guide to these two to these two points. You want to bring information to build value, and you want to bring information to create the need. I don't say use their need, I create the need. You're the late missing link between them and, and a harmful future, which is you missing out on the fact that they had a mortgage. She could pay the funeral, but she can't afford to stay in the house. Now she loses the equity in the home. So you're lost too because you don't get a bigger premium out of people. And it's only what's right to do. For me, I don't have to sit there and praise myself upon the fact that I sell $500 uh, more, you know, premium payments, uh, $1,000, $2,000 premium payments a lot. I can just know that I'm doing the right thing in the home. And that's what pulls the premium doing the right thing. This isn't about getting the cheapest price for people. Everybody's out there running around, who, who has the cheapest rates? You know, who has the cheapest rates? That's not what our business is about. It's about getting them, sure, we wanna save them money. You know, yes, we wanna do that. 
But what I'm trying to say is it's about bringing value to the table so these people understand when they're gone, this little bit of money that they spend monthly, which could happen this month, that 200 bucks you spent, could be an investment towards $300,000. You know, for $200,000 or $100,000. Tomorrow, everybody's always looking down 30 years from now, and that's good too. When they do that, you show them the cash value. That's why you want to cover all your bases during a sale. What does a product value bring? It brings a death benefit. It brings cash. It brings living benefits, okay? When you're selling final expense, why are you not using products they blow the final expense products out of the water. You know what I mean? You can write an index universal life and help prepare somebody's future. You can easily put the index universal life illustration together side by side with the final expense. And yes, it'll blow it away. But what I'm saying to you is, is that a lot of you might not like that because it decreases the amount of money that you make. But one thing I can guarantee you is you'll sell the deal a lot easier. So if you're having trouble selling deals, I'm telling you to bring more value to the table. Okay? And then you make it up in the long run. But you know as well as I do that you've got to keep your read order flow coming. You know, you've got to do that, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me for one second. All right, so it's 924. Does anybody have any questions that they could ask or they want to ask? Um, my cell phone's here. So if anybody wants to call me and you want me to do something on speakerphone, I'm going to give you my telephone number. And you can call me right now. And I will help you do an illustration. I will teach you how to run a deal in the home. I will help you with objections. I will uh, uh, teach you how to format an annuity sale. I will help you get illustrations onto the table. So, how many illustration sales did I? How many illustrations did I present this week? All right, that's the question. So we had we order 10, 20 leads a week, easy. Okay, that's just we don't even question that it just comes in it just flows in and, and sometimes I increase it just because I'm crazy like that you know so what we did is I think we sat with I don't know maybe it was like 12 people six illustrations were done half of these people had something that I could do I could work with to make it an index to do it okay six half of them, 50 percent how many are you passing up? Now, these don't sell like vinyl expense or mortgage protection. They're, you're not going to, sometimes I have sat down and sold them in the first sit. Most of the time, these are two to three sit illustration. They, you know, you try to avoid them nine times out of ten, especially if it's bigger numbers. I mean, it's really tough to get somebody to pull the trigger on a million dollars and you just sat with them and they just met you 15 minutes ago. It's not impossible. It has been done, though. So you want to use the law of large numbers, but you can't do that unless you have multiple streams of, uh, of, of lead the leads coming in. You have to have the stream of leads coming in. So let's say none of these people bought off me. I don't give a shit. I'm already over that. I, I, I don't care less because next week I'll do it again and again and again, and I'm teaching people to do it now. So others are doing it for me, so I get a cut of their pie. So it's 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 very simple. Let me turn the volume up on this so I can make sure if somebody calls me that I can answer the phone. So if anyone of you wants to call me now live and talk, I'll put it on speakerphone. We can discuss your need. It's open to, to that. Long story short is that six of these people, I got there's four of them that we have appointments with next week, two on email sent. Because I couldn't send the illustration. Sometimes I can't print the illustration in the home. And I'm going to remind you of something that every single, all four of those were printed in the client's home at their computer. Okay? I printed the illustrations at their computer. All right? Because what am I saying to do that, by the way, is, you know what, I want to make sure that I gave you all your options and there's multiple ways of covering mortgage protection. I have a way that the company allows us to create to pay your house off in five to 10 years. And I want to show you that. You have a computer, you have a printer. I have a way to pay your home off in five to 10 years and the company provides this information to give to you, but I need to print it. Is that okay? I found out that they have money. They don't need to pay mortgage protection costs. And you know, in my territory in Florida, it's tough to 
to make a lot of sales, a lot of sales out of these 12 because people are so, they, they may have good life insurance that pays out immediately, I gotta get a guaranteed issue, their health is so screwed up, and that's because of their age. So those of you in demographics where people are better and healthier, you should be using Index Universal Lights to get their future better, helping people economically, which will get you into the realm of annuities anyway, and you'll become an advisor to individuals, more or less, to help them construct a way to retire better, along with protecting what money is left over. If you don't do this, there's, they're probably doomed, nine, nine out of ten. You know? it's, it's not that funny, but it's true. So when I got two that want to sit next week, and I sell 50% of those two, well, I know there's $750,000 on the table between all this. So if I sell uh, $350,000 or $375,000 worth of annuities, and I will collect a check for $25,000 to $30,000 or something like that. So my this week set up next week, which should be 25 to 30, and I'll let you all know what happened. But I also did $7,000 in ALP premium. And I had a couple reschedules and stuff like that. Plus, I was training a rep. So I'm inside the home training somebody while I'm going through all this. So I got three people in the home, you know, doing this. And I'm still pulling illustrations out of people. Now, when you're alone, I have been my assistant, Lisa, helps me set the appointments, helps me do the, to write the apps. I've trained her well. And when you get financially able to do so yourself, get somebody to help you delegate this stuff out to people, and you'll make more money. You'll be in a position just to talk to people. And you'll be done right naps. Pay somebody 200, 300 bucks a week. You know what I mean? For God's sake, you've got to start investing in your business, guys. You really do. You've got to do it to make money. I, I'm sorry, you know, when we all started, everybody wants to start out in somewhere like a American income, Lincoln Heritage, or senior life, things like that. And you all get milked in this thing. You know, some of them got free leads that are no good. You got some of them with expensive leads. And you got a group of people trying to cover one little area, and it's, and, and it's terrible, but nobody told you, no matter where you started, that you needed money to do this. You need some kind of money to perform at a high level. Um, everybody thinks, I'll put in $500, and I'm going to make $10,000 this week, because everybody else is doing it. But I don't know the products. How the hell are you going to do anything if you haven't been educated, if you don't know this stuff? You've got to get smart on your products. You never learned another thing from me in the sales performance arena. But, and you learn the products, you'd be able to walk into any home and discuss products all day long. And that's really what you're doing anyway. Become product smart. Get with your carriers. Get with your, I don't know about your upline. I, I, I don't know. Maybe some of you got great upline. And, uh, you know, they, they do these things. I know we do, so we do daily training. I do this training on a the side. There's multiple videos in the back office. There's a ton of ways to get trained. You want trained? I got a whole YouTube page filled with training. You get the best training on earth, teaching you how to perform at a high level, getting the premiums you deserve, along with doing the right thing for the client. If you don't get the right premium, if you are not selling $100, $300, and $500 a month premiums, at least five, three to five times a week, you're doing it wrong. Something's broke. If you're only performing at 30 to $80 apps continuously, something's missing, something's left behind. And if you're not walking away with one to five annuity illustrations, at least, every week, something's broke. I don't care, don't give me an excuse that you do or your final expense because that's where I started. And I'll, that's where my whole annuity game was started on final expense, B leads, B leads. That's how I started this whole thing was B leads. And I just bought them all. I would go two, out, two and a half hours, I would drive to a territory, spend the whole day there. Sometimes I'd have an appointment at 12, then I'd have another one at six. I'd have to wait all damn day because I wasn't driving three hours back, but I did it. Those are the sacrifices that the successful people make to get here. So this shit ain't gonna happen overnight, but it does happen. So any questions? And, and I'm gonna tell you another thing, that inside your questions uh, are a lot of the details that we're missing here to get you well trained. So, you know, objections are easily come by, uh, everybody have to get by objections. Uh, 
to perform at a high level. So if you don't know your objection scripts and they're incorrect, you might want to give somebody else to check on objections. Learn multiple different objections because you're running to different attitudes, different people at different places and different demographics. And you got to know the objection is mostly the same, but coming from a different attitude. So how do you become the chameleon to, to, to perform on objections? I can't afford it. You know what? I'm not here to take any food off the table. My tone of voice changed. Let's check on something. If at the end of the month, when you're done paying all your bills, here's the simplest way to get around that. When you're done paying all your bills, you have 500, 750, or 1,000. Which one are you closer to after you pay all your bills off at the end of the month? Most people say 500 or 1,000. It's in between there. So I'm left over with 500 bucks. So if all your bills are paid, and you have 450 bucks left a month to 400. That wouldn't kick, that wouldn't break your bank. And I'm sure in your budget there's some adjustments. I know I drink coffees and Red Bulls. That probably cost me 200 bucks a month. So we can all make adjustments. What I'm here to do is tell you this again. This thing's earning cash value, Mrs. Jones. So it's not a problem. If God forbid Mr. Jones doesn't pass away and you pass away first, he's going to get this. If you pass away, he's going to get the death benefit. If you both pass away, your kids receive that. Plus, if you get cancer, stroke, heart attack, can't do two of six daily activities like dressing, bathing, you know, uh, toileting, uh, bathing, Irish bathing, transferring yourself, uh, you get the money while you're alive. You get a percentage of the money while you're alive. So everybody wins. It's just an investment into your future. So it's either your future, your husband's future, or both your futures together. So objection one out of the way. I'm just teaching them how it works. Most of you are like, yeah, I, I, I know how that is. I, you know what I mean? Like agreeing with them. What are you agreeing with? You know how that is? You're broke. So don't, don't agree with them. So, you know, um, I already have it. Yeah, I know. You told me that on the phone. The great part about this is, is that we found out that you had cash value built up, and you, we know now that you have an index universal life product. So what we'd like to do is make sure that this doesn't collapse on you. What these things come with, Mrs. Jones, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, is cost of insurance, which means it steals money from your cash bucket. Once that's depleted, this policy's out the door. It's a term whole life type product. And you gotta get rid of this if it's depleted. So hypothetically, if this is a 3,000 bucks and your COI cost of insurance is $100 a month, you know, you got about two and a half years left on this product, but this next year will go up to 110, 120, and it keeps going up and up and up until it's unaffordable anyway. So here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to contact a company just to make you aware of them. And what company is that, by the way? I probably work with them. I'm a broker. I probably work with them. You know, so I get around. I already have it. You know, and if it's not that, if it's not this situation, the already have it thing is, uh, Okay, wonderful. So what product do you have, by the way? Who is it with? And then as soon as you know who it's with, how much is it? Pay? The, the, answer, the answer to the objection is, how much does it pay to Mrs. Jones? Oh, it pays her $200,000. Oh, so when does, immediately I say, when does that turn out? Anything above 40 grand is, is, is a, a, an index universal life or retirement. So I immediately know that this is not going to be riding the wave too long unless they got it later on in life. How old is this? It's 20 years old. So terms only come in 10s, like 15, sometimes 20s, and 30s. So which one did you choose for your term? I think we did 20. So basically you're up, and you're not earning any cash value either. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to contact the company. What company is that, by the way? Uh, it's, uh, you know, whatever. I don't want to say any company names. But at the end of the day, they, they – they, you provided them with the information they needed to get out of this product and get into something because she wasn't getting that. And let's say they got three years left. Oh, you know what? This pays 200000 and your product only pays fifty. You can only get them $50,000 for about the same amount they're paying for this. All right? That's what you came up with. Three years, I want you to multiply the payment plan. Let's say the payment structure is $100 a month times 12. It's $1,200. Times three, zero, zero, six, 3,600 bucks they're going to spend in the next three years. Now, I also want you to add up what they've spent over the past 20 years. I want to show you what waste of time this investment has been to their future. 
and that this is unlikely and this is guaranteed. So always get the guarantee for later on in life. Never play with the trump. So I already have it's out the door. Got that objection taken care of. Any other objections anybody can think of? Um, who wants to try to stump me on something? Anybody got something for me? You type it in right there. That'd be great. Uh, well, how about I, I can't afford it? Well, I already went through that, but it says I can't afford it. It's a great one because everyone can afford it. Because if we go through their list of daily activities and what they spend every day of their life, you could find 10 bucks here, 5 bucks here, $20 here, 30 bucks here, and at the end of the week, they spent two hundred dollars on on shit they didn't need. So they're blowing six hundred bucks a month or eight hundred bucks a month. You provided them the information they needed to prove that they do have the money. And one of the greater ones to get around that again is to go back, ask them after all your bills are paid. You have somewhere in the ranges that I usually use five hundred to a thousand dollars. You can do that, or you can put seven fifty in. Which one are you closer to after you pay all your bills? Closer to 750. So broke to some people is a little different than being at zero. Okay, you have to get that. So you might have just walked past this thinking they're broke. Okay, I can't do anything for them. No, they got 750 bucks left. Here's what you need to do with that particular situation. You got to make sure you show it as an investment, even if it's final expense. So you got to start with cash value. This builds cash value. It pays a death benefit. To your wife, but you would receive the cash value, Mr. Jones. If anything ever happened to your wife, you're just going to cash this in. Here's the upsides: it's earning three percent interest, four point five in Transamerica, eight percent at, at, at F and G to nine. You know what I'm saying? So this is what you want to provide them with. With that, that I can't afford it. Anybody got a, any objections? Type them in, and I'd be more than happy to answer them. So. Uh, you know, the one we already have, we we don't know that. I'm trying to think. This gets tough when I'm training. I'm trying to think about everything you guys would need. So I need your help, man. You can type something in. That would be very helpful. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, we, how about we just don't need it? I got plenty of cash. Uh, okay, so you have, if we did the math on this, and you're 65 years of age today, and timeline goes to 95, so you got 30 years on the earth left. So you got Social Security coming in cash. You got a debt to the home of 200,000 bucks. So I assume you have about 200,000 put away, right? No, I don't have anything near that. So I got about 20,000 put away. Okay, so great. But what we want to do is we want to not put any pressure on you to, 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 to pay the house off. But what we do want to protect is the equity in the home. You know, Mr. Jones, if I take your thousand bucks a month and I multiply that by 12 months, that's 12,000 bucks a year you're spending on your mortgage. If I multiply that by, let's say you pass away in 10 years, that's $120,000 you've invested in this home. Divide that by two, and that's about $60,000. It's about equity. With a little inflation and good, in, good, good increases, you could have 90 grand sitting there. You want your wife to be able to walk away with that because mathematically, due to your Social Security and hers being lower and her having to wait six months to get it to 12 months, uh, you're putting her in a bad situation. So, Mrs. Jones, now bring her into the game. Do not just focus on Mr. Jones. Bring Mrs. Jones into the game. How do you feel about that? A lot of these women today will say it's whatever he thinks. You know what I mean? But you got to get around that. you got to get over the fact this guy's been controlling the situation and answering all, all necessary needs in that house for a long time. Now, sometimes the, the woman answers these, these questions, too, pretty good, and that, that really they're, they're usually a little more smarter than men. Men just stick me in the backyard, you know what I mean, or, or sell the car, or she can sell the house. No, she doesn't have enough money to buy time. So what we want to do, Mr. Jones, in this situation is just get you a small little time policy, meaning it bought her time to sell the home, for the ninety to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in equity, because I'm going to tell you right now, the bank's coming after this. It's her versus the bank, Mr. Jones. We put your house here. That's an ugly house. But we got the bank, and we got her, and she's got six months to wait for your Social Security. She has no income besides seven hundred fifty bucks a month, or whatever she has in Social Security, and that's why it's important, guys, to plan this stuff out. You know. Um, 
I don't know. Nobody has any objections. You guys out there selling? Because I ain't getting no objections from nobody here. It'd be very helpful if you give me a few objections you guys might run into. Uh, in the home, what does somebody say inside the house that, that, that makes you work for your money, basically? What do you have to get around that makes you work for your money? What kind of objection do you run into time and time again? And it might not be every week. It might be once a month, but it's that sale you needed. It's that sale that could have changed your life. We got to work around that. So objections are to be learned and studied along with products. Any objection can be one just due to the fact that you're knowledgeable about your products. That's it. This is a, everybody came in here teaching the wrong stuff all these years, been taught wrong in this industry. If people were more focused on teaching about the products instead of the in home sales, the in home sales presentation is just what somebody else has done. Doesn't necessarily mean it works for you. You know what I mean? You have to find your own niche, your own way of doing things. But if your product's smart, you can present anything to anybody on the streets, in the grocery line, in their home, in their backyard, a swimming pool, in a car. Doesn't matter where you are, you would be able to present life insurance, mortgage protection, annuities, because you knew the product well. Now, along with knowing the product, knowing about what may happen into the future. Well, what's happened in the past is a good look at the future, right? So if we know what went on in the past, we know it's going to happen again. So what's up with the crash coming? The market crash? Question mark. When is that? Anybody have any, any answers on when the next market crash may come? Anybody got any ideas on when that may happen? Because a lot of people are going to lose a lot of money. But if you're in that house and you can help protect that money, you've done your job. Become a professional. Protect money. Protect people's lives and futures, and you will make a lot of money. Product knowledge, very important. So, objections. Uh, yeah, what else can I come up with? Um, I don't get many is the problem. Because I illustrate so much shit on paper, all the illustrations you know that I do in front of them knock everything out. The only thing I might get is I want to think about it. Okay? I want to think about it. Okay, that's uh, something that we should review then. Let's take a look at this, Mr. Jones. Um, you're about 75 years of age, and you know we have a debt of 300000 Here's my fear, my personal fear after doing this for 10 years, Mr. Jones, is that something happens to your health. You know, I, I know we talk a lot about things, this won't happen to me, and this, but I've been doing this a long time. If your health goes down at two, you'll never be able to cover this money. So right as of today, you're eligible to cover this, this debt. So here's my suggestion. Why don't we do this instead? Let's take a look at this option. Let's take a look at one. This would be a good time to pull out. Do you have any retirement funds that Mrs. Jones will receive? If it's a yes, what will she receive from that? How much money will she receive? Uh, she'll receive $200,000. Okay, so you were working on the mortgage protection, but now you find out it's two hundred grand. Where's that at? Is that like in an IRA or is that a 401k? That's in an IRA. Okay, so here's what I can do. I have information from the company that uh, allows us to pay homes off in five to ten years. So in ten years, you could have this home paid off. I'm going to get that illustration for you just so you and Mrs. Jones have that information, which could be vital to both your futures, especially hers. Uh, so I'm going to get, can I use your computer and printer? I'm going to get this printed out so you guys can have that, review it, and why I'm here, I can go over it very quickly with you. So what this will do is give them a bonus. So not only that, Mr. Jones, but they're going to, you're going to make 20 grand on top of the deal instantly. So you're gonna make twenty thousand dollars very quickly. They give you a thirteen percent bonus by age. You'd only get ten or seven or eight. I'm not sure. It depends on what carrier you use. But at the end of the day, he's got a bonus. Well, by the, in ten years from now, due to proof of the past, is what the illustration shows. Proof of in the past ten years, if you did this, Mr. Jones, you'd be at four hundred and forty thousand or more dollars. Your house is paid. She has income for life. Now, let me ask you this. Is this earning any real big money anyway? Like, is it, is it doubled at any time? Has it really gone above and beyond? Um, the let me think about it. How do you handle? That's what I'm on right now, buddy. 
Let me think about it. So I'll do it again if, if you're not getting this. Are you involved with this right now, Mark, or do I have to go over this again from the start? But I'll do it again. Long story short is you found a route out to get this another option. Besides the mortgage protection, you have another option for them now, okay? To take no money out of their pocket, use their own money, protect it from the downside of the markets, and let them understand no longer will they take 3% from your IRA. So Mr. Jones, when you're not earning any money, you're going down annually by 3%, nine times out of 10, that's how it works. So why are you paying them when you don't have to pay them is what the answer I'm going to give them. You just probably didn't know about it. So this is what everybody's doing today, by the way, Mr. Jones. This is literally what everybody that knows about this is doing today. So I want to think about it. You can come in this action. You can take this uh, action too. So you got that part out. You got an annuity instead of a sale. I want to think about it. I always refer back to the health and say, yep, okay, um, let's review this real quickly. I have your health is where it's at today. My only fear, I use my own fear for him, okay? My only fear is that you may have some health issues and that this number goes too high and you won't want it anymore. You're, your wife will lose. What we're trying to protect, Mr. Jones, is the equity too. Not just paying the house off, but making sure that she has enough money to pay. Oh, she has plenty of money. Uh, well, uh, yeah, for why you two are alive, she does. But if we separate the piece of paper down the middle, guys, and, and I do this, and I put him here, and I put her, her here, and I take her two separate incomes and separate it, maybe he's at 5000 Maybe she's at 1200 or 3000 or 2,000, not the playing field, I say, is not even. Mrs. Jones, this, this doesn't work, right? And when you lose that, and you're stuck on paying, uh, let's say you got 2,000 bucks a month coming in, and now you revert back to the mortgage payment, which is $1,500 a month for 30 years, what, how are you gonna, that's not possible. You, you can't do that. Even when you receive his Social Security of 3000 bucks, you still have 12 months maxed away. So you may have 12 months, six months on the short run to receive it. And that's in today's era. 12 to, 14, 12 to 24 months later on, 10 to 15 years, there's more people dying. You can't process all that. There's like three people working at the Social Security office doing all this. So at the end of the day, you have this weight. You have $2,000 a month. You got all these bills, health, health charge, things like that. You've got the 200000 bucks in the other illustration. So if that was brought up, he may say, I have a retirement fund. And that's where you, right? I'd like to show you how to pay the house off in five to 10 years. That's your way to get illustrations onto the table, guys, to sell these big index annuities. You think I'm playing with you when you can make $1,000, a hundred, I'm sorry, $100,000 a week. You can. I proved to an agent today, this week in three days, to find six annuities, okay? Put six illustrations down and have four six next week on these same index annuity products. So if I, I'll probably sell two. I really probably sell two, but it's $20,000, $25,000. It's where most people make in, in a year. You know what I mean? That's crazy. So along with the seven Gs on top of that made this week, so along, you know, with what I'll make next week or week after too. But how do I do that? A continuous lead flow. Fearless. Lead fear is going to cripple most of you. Um, no, I saw it from the start. We were okay. Wonderful. So, any other objections? Mark, you got anything else? Or Mario, I'm sorry. Mario Robinson, anything else that you're running into out there that people are saying? I, did that clear it up? Because, Mario, if that didn't clear it up, we need to do another one. And, and there's a different way I can handle this, too. Because I want to think about it. I always kind of like to revert to the health because that instantly does come to mind with everybody. When my health goes down, you know, the price goes up, or I may not be able to get it. You know, Mr. Jones, we're all kind of sitting on the fence here, banging on our feet off here. Uh, on This side is not getting it, and this side is getting it. You're on this side of the fence now with your feet on the other side. You just haven't planted them yet. Okay, we want your feet on the ground. We need you to get this in a, in, in a, in a way where Mrs. Jones has no worry. So Mrs. Jones, you know that you have a 2,000 a month income and he has a 5,000 a month income. He's safe. If you die, hell, no big deal to him. 
And now I'm using these two against each other, okay? Valuable strategy. Using her to show what she's been dealing with for years anyway. Might tick her off. Since playing field has never been even. This has always been the way it has been for many, many years. So if you and he died at any time, you'd be left with 2,000 bucks. This protection, with having no protection at all, and him telling he's going to leave you what's in the bank account, just isn't going to cut it. You guys are going to still live. You have, what, 10? Mr. Jones, here's a little joke that I'll throw. Mr. Jones, you got 10 or 20 in you, right? You got 10 or 20 more years in you, right? And it's kind of like, yeah, all right. So, you know, when he dies, that goes away. You're stuck with this. Oh, but I get his Social Security. You can't agree more. Yes, you do. And maxed out, people waiting six to 12 months to receive that. So in two months, when the mortgage isn't paid, the guys are going to come from the bank. They're going to put the sticker on the door and they're going to throw you out, period. This is how it works, you two. I've been doing this a long time. Now it's time to get serious, okay? Tonality, pitch. It's all in the voice. It's all in the language, you know? I'm a bigger guy than most, so I'm not here to threaten, but there's bigger guys than me, but there's smaller people out there. Small people can't intimidate with their body, but they can intimidate with their genius of creating the need, create the need. So I want to think about it. Yeah, okay, wonderful. So here's what we need to do. We need to really get her to buy time. And Mrs. Jones, here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to get Mr. Jones to agree on this. We need to get you $25,000. Not worry about covering the whole mortgage, okay? What we want to do is just get you $25,000, which buys you enough time to sell the home. Now, I explained to you, too, why we will do that. Mrs. Jones, you understand it's for the equity in the home. What we're doing is we're preparing you to walk away with $90,000, $150,000. $200,000 before the bank gets it off you, okay? And that's what's winning. They would love nothing left, at, love nothing more at the bank than to take your 90000 and put this back on the market for the appraisal price of the home. You lose, bank wins. What we're here to do is defeat the bank, put your defenses up, and make sure that the funds are there. Here's $100 a month. Guys, here's what we want to do with this. I messed up just now. Before I put that up there, I want you to revert back to this. Guys, here's the question that we all wonder about, right? Now, if, you know, if this is a trust issue with me, because we just met, we can revert back to the company. You're working with a carrier. You got mutual bum on foresters, whoever you choose. Know the company. When were they, when's the infrastructure? When were they created? 1876. You know, I got 1901. You know, what? whatever you learn from your whoever carrier you're, you're with, it's like your business. When was it created? 2018? You know, since 2018 or since these companies have been around since 1850. So they've been around for 200 years doing this. They are solid, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Your money's solid. Here's the bottom line. You're going to get into finding out after you pay all your bills, what is left over at the end of the month? Which one of these two or three numbers are you closer to after you guys had fun money taken out, you guys have given the grandchildren, kids, paid your bills, what are you closer to? Well, we're closer to 500. Now, how about this question? And I want your honesty, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. If I were to tell you you had to live on 400 bucks a month and all your bills were paid, all your bills were paid, could you do it? All your bills are paid, and you have to live on 400 bucks. Could you pay off? Yes is the answer. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get this, provide you with the information we just came up with, which is this cost about $100 a month. It is earning interest, so it's gaining interest. It comes with living benefits for Mr. and Mrs. Jones. So Mr. Jones, if she dies, you're just going to collect this cash, and you're going to put it back into your bank account. If Mrs. Jones, he, when he passes away, when he passes away, you're going to receive this. And then both of you can reap the rewards of the living benefits involved. So this thing's a pumping machine waiting to be revealed. What we have is the information that you have given me is you can survive on 400 bucks a month. She does need 25000 minimum. Now, okay, how much is 50000 Some people do that. They take them, they, you just change their mind totally. Okay, what's 50 grand look like? Give me a number on 50. Okay, so... The way I presented this, Mr. Jones, does this makes sense, right? Agree? Yeah. So let's let's get let's do this one, okay? 
So you, you have your identification on you and, and just assume the sale. Assume the sale. No when to assume the sale. Is that something that some of you may be having trouble with too? I know I did in the beginning. Assuming the sale. That's a tough one for some. When do I pull the trigger? When should I pull the trigger on this thing? How do I know? Well, you'll know when you know. Okay, that's all I can tell you. You'll know when you start pulling the trigger. You gotta practice every inch of this business. You've got to have leads so you can be in front of people. You can fail, you can you can have success. You fail, you succeed, you fail, you succeed, you stay above water. But to get to the big numbers, you gotta pull the trigger on some things. You gotta practice, okay? So which can and learn your products, guys. So let me get a drink real quick. I was losing track of what I was doing. Everybody take a take five. Remember, I'm in Florida. I'm doing this outside for you guys so you get like a pretty view and everything, you know? I'm trying to help you out. 80 degrees out of here. All right, where was I? Uh, anybody help me out? Where was I? I? I lost my place. I literally am, am blanked out right now. I've been talking for an hour. I forget what I was talking about. Does anybody know where I was? Uh, I'm going to have to create something. Um, what the hell was I talking about? Uh, damn, I lost it, guys. Sorry. I've really been jabbering away. <laughs> if it comes back to me, I'll get it. But I want to end with this anyway. So I'm going to show you guys a couple things. For those of you that just got on, I want to show you a couple of illustrations real quickly. This was done in the home. 13% bonus on probably a hundred and some odd thousand dollars that a 63-year-old male gets a 13% bonus averaging about 8% interest. In 10 years, his $391,000 will be roughly $874,000 with no downside participation, okay? Um, there's two illustrations for annuities and two annuities, two index uh, uh, universal lives here. This is a, a, this is a Fidel, Fidelity and this is uh, the Mutual Vlam on GUL. So these are two different products, but for this, um, this GUL, by the way, is putting $500 a month in. This is putting $300 a month in. That's an $800 sale there, guys, along with this, okay? So I won't tell you the total for the week, but it's, it's pretty high. Next week's even higher, to be honest with you, but that's, that's the way you can do it too, though, is what I'm saying. You can do this. I know you can. What I'm trying to tell you is that putting $300 a month into this product at a higher interest rate in 20 years gives this $117,000 in cash. Now, in 20 years, putting $500 a month away gives this $38,000. Which one would you rather have? Rather have the higher of the two, right? You'd rather have the one that's outperforming. This one's performing it at 3%. This one's at 8 So which one are you going to choose for your client? This one's a little more liberal, though. This, this GUL is a little more simpler to get people into. And this is a great... Uh, universal life to start with to get to this piece of the puzzle this is a great product to really start with when you're new to the game is the mutual boom on GUL and then also their term products too you pay very well on terms so don't be afraid I just always use ROP but when I present this in front of them or this they usually choose this because it goes for the rest of their life so if you're doing the right thing you'll never be taken off the table because if I come behind any of your term policies, I promise you I'll take them off the table. I don't care if they're ROP. These will outperform that ROP all day long. So those of you term sellers, be aware. I'm training people how to do it differently. But it's it's both good stuff. You know, everybody wins. Um, I wish to God I remembered where I left off because it was important shit. Uh, the objections that we go over, guys, inside the home or something, over the phone is the same deal. If you guys are having trouble setting appointments, let me know. The phone's open for telephone calls. I put the telephone number up. You know, nobody's calling, fine. But at the end of the week, when you don't have 10, 20,000 bucks in your pocket, remember, I was here answering questions for you. Objections, I want to think about it. Probably a big one for everybody. Why? You didn't bring value. There was no trust. And you didn't do an illustration. Why are you not providing your clients with what the carriers are providing you with? Which is 
bring, to bring value, to build trust through the products. See, you become very educated when you start flashing numbers on a piece of paper that are actual true numbers that they're not aware of, like the mortgage cost, the mortgage equity uh, uh, equation. You know, that equation sells deals. Not one of my bet is written it down. I bet my ass. One of you is written. Here's an equation to get 10 years of equity. Here's a timeline. You show Mr. and Mrs. Jones his timeline. This is Mr. Jones dying. He's 65 now. He will die at 75 years of age, hypothetically. Here's $1,000 a month is your mortgage times 12 months equals $12,000 a year. Multiply that by 10 years. We know it's $120,000 that you have put in. Divide that by two, and that's roughly the equity that we want Mrs. Jones to walk away with. So 60K, roughly to 90K with good interest, good economical times. So what she's in, what, what Mr. Jones is entrusting you to do, Mrs. Jones, is trust that his Social Security will come to you quickly. It's trust that his pension will be there for you for the rest of your life, and the companies don't stop that for some crazy reason. And everybody's trust, trust, trust. And the only thing you're ever guaranteed is death, taxes, and life insurance, okay? If you can understand that, you can put your, we can put your husband in a position to understand how valuable this is to trust this product with this proof through the illustration, okay? So you have value, trust, through the illustration. Get the illustration on the table, provide them the information they need to know and understand to see where their money is ending up. Where's my money going? In the life insurance, what is that? It pays a death benefit. Most people got it like that. But when you provide them the information, they've probably been wondering for years, how does life insurance really work? It becomes interesting to them. Then they, they, then they see value. Oh, I didn't know there was index universal life. So you think people knew that there was 8% products? Here's the problem with that. They have been so used to losing money in the market and being with their stockbroker and just kind of staying stagnant, seeing some great upsides and seeing some real bad low sides too. Now, when you say I have a product that is earned 8% interest, they're kind of like, what? That's impossible. Like, that, it almost sounds like you're lying. But the illustration proves that on average, this is what it looked like over, you know, 10 or 20, 30 year period, guys. So that's your proof is the back, you know, history repeats itself, biblically speaking too. So what we have to do is just get you to understand and bring value to get trust through an illustration and teach them what equity truly looks like in the home at the time of the death. Why would you not do that? Why would you not have just written down that equation to show them in the home what it'll look like from what she's going to walk away with? And the most important, one of the most important questions you can ask to Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, will you even live here if Mr. Jones is not here anymore? Will you stay in this house? The answer nine times out of ten is no. So, all right, guys, um, if there's no, or any more questions before I end, that was a long one today. Um, it's been a good one, though. I hope everybody got rewarded out of this, got some information, valuable information out of this. If you would be kind enough is to like this and share it and put some comments, uh, anything's cool. I'm, I'm good with it. If you don't, you can beat me up, too. You know, if it wasn't good or I'm missing something, just tell me and let's review it. Every week we'll go over something new. If you're looking for a career in life insurance and you're new to this or this whole industry, you can contact me via text. The number's in the comment section, and you can uh, we'll go review the options at uh, my organization and tell you how I run the show and what what kind of training we offer in education, which comes first to me, um, and then we will move you into the lead systems, which makes you first in the home, and then we will teach you how to sell the indexed annuity products, which makes you probably first in your area to do so. And you want to be number one, you got to be with the number one. So if you want to be with the number one organization to be number one, to be the best, you got to beat the rest, right? So let's get on board. Everybody take a vision of this real quickly. Thank Jesus for everything that you have in your day. Thank Jesus for everything that you get in your life. I thank you for coming today. And if you need any help, just text me or hit me up in the comment section. Please like this video and share it to others so we can get it out there and share what this wonderful industry has brought to us. Okay? Thank you all for being here today. I'll see you next week.